One of the bills, as you know, looks to require more audits of whether claimants are doing the required number of work searches per week uh, to get their payment. That's four per week, including declining job interviews or not showing up for one. Um, according mm -hmm. to the Department of Workforce Development, the agency does do these weekly random kind of audits. But in your mind, that's not enough oversight? Well, it's not addressing the issue. Part of that one goes back to ghosting. A ghosting is a matter where someone applies for a job, sends in an application, notifies the state that I took care of that. But when you go back to the employer, the employer is saying, wait a minute. And it, there was an example, I believe it's Aaron's Corporation there in East Central Wisconsin. Um, uh, they had in excess of 400 people that sent in an application for employment but when they responded back to set up an interview or conduct one over the phone or in person they could not even get a single response from those people that's in a one-year period um, or they had appointments set up and i believe there was 125 appointments people simply didn't show up now if you're the employer this is a high cost exercise our human resource departments in uh, any sector are taking out a lot of expense to employ people. So this is one of those issues. It, this is feedback from employers saying, this is costing us a lot of money. So I don't think the requirements for the job search have been effective.